Hi, my name is Derek Garcia with LearnAsBomb.com, and today I'll be reviewing the SPDX Maven plugin. This is a simple plugin which allows for the creation of SPDX SBOMs from the dependencies listed in the POM.xml files when building Maven projects. I'll be using IntelliJ on a Windows PC today since the GUI will make it a bit easier to see what's going on. To install the plugin, we need to simply copy paste the values from the Maven Central repository. The code is also on GitHub, but the most recent version will be with Maven. So I have that copied and we're just going to add it underneath the existing plugins. There we go. And we can check to see the tool has been installed with the help command. So if I open the terminal and pass in the help, we should see all the help, help information. Besides the help command, the only other option is to generate an SPDX SBOM with the generate command, which is as follows. Just maven create SPDX. And after a moment, the tool will build and we'll get an SPDX SBOM. It'll take a moment, but by default, it will be placed under the target slash sites folder. And we can see our target file here. We open it up their site we can see our spdex json file the plugin has a very extensive list of configuration options for setting additional and default values for the resulting spdex sbombs which are as follows spdex file spdex document namespace non-standard licenses default file copyright default file contributors Default license information and file, default concluded license, default file notice, license declared, license concluded, creators, and origin. I'm just going to use the example provided on the GitHub, but if you do plan on using these features, make sure you check their proper usage with the SPDX documentation first, since the tool will fail if these options are input incorrectly. All of these will go under the configurations tab and we can see again just from the github but all of these icons are done so if we run the command once again all right this time we'll see that instead of the default target site folder like our first one here, we have our license.spdx, which we can see was set with the spdx file. So if I open that, and we can just compare these real quick. We can see there's a lot of additional information. So the one on the left will have information about the creators, more additional default information. Uh, this is the specific license text, as opposed to where the one on the right doesn't have as much details. So it's an additional way to, to cover your bases if you want to add licenses for your organization. SPDX Maven plugin is a short and simple tool that greatly improves your workflow. The large range of options allows you to specifically tailor the tool to fit the needs of your project and it's great for those who prefer working with SPDX style SBOMs. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to reach out to us at learnaspbomb.com. Thank you for checking out this video. If you really liked it, be sure to check out our other videos right here, and then you can also subscribe right up top here. And again, thank you. Bye-bye.